Erosion is responsible for many different landforms along the coastline. Headlands and bays are formed where there are alternating bands of hard and soft rock running perpendicular to the coastline. The weaker bands of rock, such as clay, are eroded more easily, resulting in the formation of bays. The hard bands of rock, such as sandstone, are more resistant to erosion and they stick out into the sea to form headlands. These are high energy environments, meaning most erosional landforms are found here. Some of the most recognisable coastal landforms include caves and arches. These begin from cracks in the headland. Processes such as hydraulic action and abrasion erode these cracks, causing them to widen. Over time, the crack eventually opens up to form a cave. This cave continues to be eroded and eventually breaks through the other side of the headland, forming an arch. The base of the arch continues to be eroded, while weathering processes act on the roof of the arch, eventually causing the roof to collapse, leaving behind a stack. The base of stacks are eroded until they are undercut and collapse, forming a stump. Wavecut platforms are also commonly found at headlands. Erosional processes wear away the base of the cliff, eventually forming a wavecut notch. This is a dent in the base of the cliff. Continued erosion causes the notch to grow larger until the cliff above it becomes unstable, causing it to collapse. The eroded material is carried away by the sea, leaving behind a wave cut platform. This process repeats over time as cliffs continue to retreat.